Hello and welcome to Falling Star Tarot, where I post weekly pick a card readings. This tarot reading is going to tell you how they see you. If you want to see how they view you, stick around. If you are returning, thank you. And if you're new here, be sure to subscribe to catch me again and hit that bell to see my notifications. We have five art cards that I painted here. They're a little abstract. They are one, two, three, four, and five, according to the numbers and the oracle, if you're not drawn to any. But take a moment, take a deep breath, and see which one you're drawn to. I want to let you know that more important than how anyone sees you is how you see yourself. I feel like you're probably going to see a little bit of something of yourself in one of these images. So follow the corresponding timestamp down below for your reading. If you want to know how to use the oracle, just pause the video and whatever number is out center for you, that is the number you are meant to receive in a reading. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank everyone who has been supporting my channel, buying my art, and supporting me on my journey. Thank you very much. I just added buymeacoffee.com to the arsenal of things that you can do down below in the description box. All right. Let's see how they see you. Okay, so you might embody a little bit of Scorpio type energy. They may see you as being a little bit more of a darker character, a little more um, aloof, uh, having some true emotional depth though. Um, you may find it really easy to express yourself, especially around them. And you're not, you're more of a fearful creature than one who fears fear. Um, this is sort of a changeable energy in the fact that you have the ability to transform and sort of resurrect yourself. Uh, you may recreate yourself from time to time. You know, death looks like a scary card, especially in this deck. But you are really, you're at one with the natural cycle in life. When something ends, it seems like a new fresh beginning to you you're not challenged by it as much you're a really passionate and alluring person to them they probably find you pretty physically attractive this is supposed to be the most attractive sign in the zodiac scorpio so they they think you're sexy okay i don't know how else to say that um now scorpio is a water sign but if you're not a water sign you just might play on their emotions a bit and but not in a way that disturbs them i don't think i think they like this and they may see you as being fairly strong and intuitive and almost like clairvoyant this is resourceful and brave energy uh, they may find you every once in a while to be a little bit stubborn or distrusting maybe even secretive or jealous. Just try to stay calm around them. Don't make any sudden moves because after all, you have the Scorpio-like energy. You look a little dangerous to them. Um, yeah, you, you can embody and accept your dark side and that is attractive in the fact that you aren't really clouded about what type of person you are you don't have a lot of illusions to like you being this perfectly pure individual you know you have another side and you've accepted that so i think they're going to enjoy that about you it looks like they want the world from you and that's pretty exciting this is sort of completion plus one um this is the whole shebang they they may very well see you as a permanent part of their life, ideally, someone who they may marry, um, travel with, 
uh, build a world, build a life with. But this is a worldly thing. It's a more earth type. I say earth because like the passion and, and the attractivity. But it is an earthy energy. They want to see things happening here. Okay, not, not idealistic, emotional things. They want to see it actualized. They want to see this brought out into the world and happening. So I, I, I think they want you in, your, in their world. That is what, how I am seeing this. They want to build something with you. I hope we have love is the reason. Each person in your life is there for a reason. And that reason always has something to do with love. Just a pretty positive energy. Happiness. I feel like this person gets a great amount of strength and happiness from being around you. And I did I see stars on that? Yes, we have stars there and we have stars. I feel like they're going to be very attentive towards you. And it, like you might almost feel like they are just focusing on you. They're so attentive. So I feel like they're very grateful for you in their life. And you kind of remind them to focus on the positive side of everything. You see this person is just smiling and enjoying every moment. Every moment is a gift. And I don't know, I feel like they really treasure all the time that they have with you. And they're going to be kind of living moment to moment, like kind of memory keeping, you know, just just creating experiences with you. Return to the body. Okay. When I am caught up in a stressful moment, I can move my awareness to my body. Is my jaw cleansed? My body tense? How is my posture? This helps me to see where I can relax and let go of tension. Now I can return to any situation more calm and present. That's a hard one because it's always so glary. I'm sorry. Um, and we got some new lighting. I don't know if you noticed. <laughs> I think this might have been about what I was trying to say. Um, don't make any sudden moves. Being that we have this Scorpio energy here, I feel like they're afraid you're going to strike. <laughs> you know, like you're just... You've got this pent-up energy, and they're a little fearful of it. But then we didn't really show you your card. I see this as a very thoughtful creature, very much like that Scorpio energy. A lot going on in there. Very expressive, artistic, um, interesting, but deep, deep. And sometimes maybe a little aloof or caught up in thought. Uh, so do return to the body. Try to be present. That came in a pretty good time. Try to be present in their life. They want you here in their world, not off like daydreaming. We know you have all those deep, wonderful, expressive things about yourself. Um, you might be like the songwriter type or the poet or, or what have you, okay? But um, come down to earth. Spend some time with this person. Sit close to someone with a big heart. Okay, that's kind of spooky. I didn't look ahead at these. I'm kind of... I'm, I think that's kind of sweet. Sit close to someone with a big heart. I think this person has a pretty big heart for you. Okay, this is looking pretty exciting. Um, I have a big smile on my face right now. I hope you do too. Yeah, I'm going to pull some charms now and we're going to see if we can't get a little more information. See if we can't get out of our initials. Yes, I feel like this person loves you and they want you sitting next to them. They want you here um, and attentive. What else might they say to you? They're all upside down. It's so secretive. Oh, and a W tried to come out. I'm going to take that. That might mean something to someone. A W and a C and an R. I get record, like they want to hit record on the moments they spend with you. I'm not sure, is you could get crow out of that. That's kind of interesting. Maybe that's, uh, I don't know, I like crows. I like, 
I like darker things. Maybe they're like that too and they like things that are a little bit darker. Maybe you share that in common, that you're not it just the happy, uh, flowery types, at least not all the time. Maybe you take in a little bit darker films or something. Let's see what else they might want to say to you. I'm not sure what you see in that. If you see anything else in that, it might help people down below. Because um, I don't know, that's an interesting message. Okay. Thinging. Thinging. Well, that's really like specific. Um, this might be returning to that earth energy and wanting to actualize things and have things like here down to earth, down on earth, returning to the body. They, they might not really care what it is they do to, with you, but just as long as, you know, they're spending actual time with you and not just kind of thinking about you, maybe you'll have that opportunity. I love this. I just added this. Um, it says, turn your scars into stars. I don't remember where I got this, but I've had it for years. Um, so that kind of goes with that first card too. be able to take a lot of situations and turn them into self-expression and kind of laugh your way through the scary stuff. Um, oh, and we've got the owl here with wisdom. We've got a star with the starfish. I think they feel like you're very wise and they might see a lot of themselves in you. Um, yeah, I feel like, like they're trying to say, I want to do those kind of things with you. Yeah, they think you're special. They think you're kind of like a Pegasus, you know, or it might be a unicorn. I always wonder, but yes, it's a unicorn. So they think you're really special. Uh, we've got angel, wisdom. I feel like they want to protect you and they want to know how you feel about things. They want to show you attention and they want you to know that you are special to them. Whatever you're doing together, that thing, that's going to be like what makes their day. Okay, this is a pretty good reading. I'm seeing something nice here. Um, you guys can have a lot of love. Okay, if you like this reading, leave me a comment down below. Let me know how I did. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to catch me again. And until next time, have fun. Hi, number two. This is a card you chose. I think it's a card of manifestation. I see the number eight in it. And this is all about actualizing things, bringing your dreams to life, making your, your dreams come true. Um, so if you've been wishing for stuff, you know, keep believing in them. I think this was a message for you to keep believing in stuff. So you are seeing as kind of coming by by chance. I see that they they think that you are beautiful, you decorate yourself well, you put yourself together well, and they appreciate how, how much time you put into yourself. Um, also very real. This could be a karmaic connection for them. They may have some things that they are working out, and sometimes that's a little tough. It gets a little prickly, doesn't it, what we... Uh, quote unquote, deserve in life. But I feel like you're, you're making them happy. You're making them feel like this is fair and balanced. Um, that you're kind of doing them a good turn. They're feeling pretty complete. I see the owl with wisdom. So I think they're finding you wise. They, they value your opinion. They think you're knowledgeable, that you have insight to share. And I think they're going to go with you through the dark times and the light times. From what I see here, they're going to want to stick in there with you. But they also might find this a little bit of an entanglement. Like they are really taking a chance on this. As complete and as wonderful and whole as you make them feel, they're a little bit worried. You know, they're not thinking fancifully about this. They're trying, whoa, I'm so sorry. They're trying to be down to earth about this. Okay. They know that there are cycles that repeat in life and they don't want to do that with you. They care about you. 
Oh, the Father of Cups. Wow, I feel like they really, <laughs> they want kind of all with you. They kind of want to run the gamut of emotions with you. Like from the dark to the light here, they want to experience their life with you. And they also want to be um, strong. And they want to know you. They want, they want to know you deeply. Not just like on the surface. They want to know what's going on underneath everything. This again, this is a little artistic. I see like all this decorative and I'm getting like the jewelry bejeweled vibe. I feel like you're going to be making each other's life brighter and a lot more fun. They want to be someone that, you know, you can depend on. Appreciation. They're feeling like you have a lot of gratitude. You make them feel, you know, very happy and grateful too. So I got this out. I'm just going to read you this book because it's beautiful. Um, appreciation takes being present and being grateful simultaneously. It is a moment in our hearts when we take in the qualities of a loved one, a rose, a sunset, pets, wind, rain, or the moon. Isn't that kind of like, kind of like that card, the sun and the moon, the rain, everything. I'm going to take everything in with you. It is a feeling that has many layers of beauty. <laughs> Once we tap into it, it is very, it is a very healthy train of thought. It leads us to really feeling blessed for what we have been given. The attitude brings more good and also sets the future tone. Appreciation is necessary if we want to grow in a positive direction. That's wild. Um, even though that's a seven and it's about mastery and gratitude and appreciating one another. I look at all those hearts, all that love and all that growth, getting through the clouds. I think that really makes sense with what I was saying about the wheel of fortune there. I hope you do too. Love is never in vain. Oh, so it might be tough, but when you finally see this whole time space thing is all about, you're going to laugh, you're going to cry, and you're going to be so, 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 so happy you loved as much as you did. So yes, when you do see what this is all about, you're going to realize that love was never the mistake. Um, love is never in vain. That's beautiful. So if you get to where you're kind of doubting, and this does seem like by chance and not universally supported, it's, it's always love is always supported. That's what supported his supporting our universe. Tune in today before doing what I normally do. Let's see if we can get that so you can see it. I will take a moment to slow down, to place my hands at my heart space and take a few deep breaths. I will ask myself what I truly want and I will honor however I am feeling. Okay, that's really good advice. Um, so if you get feeling kind of like you're hitting a block and, oh, I, you know, I, sometimes you feel like it just isn't worth it. Like it's just really hard. Like you're going through some tangly, cloudy times and, you know, take that moment to tune in and listen to your heart. Listen to your feelings. You're having those for really, for reasons. Hope is a wing. The stronger the wing, the higher the flight. Okay. So this might not be like easy street from what I'm getting from these quotes, but you are manifesting this. You might be imagining this as we speak. I think um, that they appreciate, they appreciate this. Um, this is welcomed. This is possible. So yes, I think it's okay to have high hopes about this. That's that seems so obvious from what what's, we've got laying out here. It's okay to have high hopes. Kind of reach for the stars with this one. It's okay. It can all come true. I'm going to move this and the first pile didn't get this. I apologize if you watched a couple of them. I'm going to use the grid and some charms and see if we can get some more information. First, I'll get a few of these. Wow, high hopes.
I'll get some of these too. See what they'd like to you to know. How do they see you? Ooh. Oh, wow. That's so cool. That came out in the first reading. Well, we've got J, J O. I'm thinking jot it down and the O comes out. That's kind of cool. We've got John. Oh, we have John. That's neat. If you have a John, will you please comment below? I, even if you're scared, will you reach out to me and let me know that that resonated with you? Um, oh, we've got, look at that. We've got the two. This is like, it's on the a little extra dot, so it must just be its own little message. That to me is true love. They want, they want you to feel the same. You know, they want to meet you right there. We've got maybe. And I'm getting that maybe we'll make it through some of the cloudier periods with wisdom. This is great. We've got transformation over here with yes. And I, I think like, it's just saying, get out of your head with it. Get out of your head with that. We've got the angel on no. And is that Aries in spirit? Angels watching over you. Okay. And we have faith on Taurus. That might mean something special for someone. And attention. I believe that's fire. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that's fire. Right here in the middle, we have trip and run. I feel like they want, they kind of want to escape with you. Yes, turn your cars into stars. If you've got anything that kind of feels like it scarred you, this person is going to help you turn it into a star. You're going to feel like, like you can tackle anything. You can turn anything kind of on its head instead of the obverse okay this is a terrific reading it looks like you're going to get through some tough times with it maybe you even both of you have some things that really kind of tore you up a little bit but you're here not just to comfort one another you you can love this one okay i i think that's beautiful all right if this resonated with you leave me a comment down below uh give it a big thumbs up let me know how i'm doing Subscribe to catch me again. If you'd like to book a personal private reading with me or just support the channel, there's some links down below. Until next time, have fun. Hello, choice number three. First, this is your card that you chose. I feel like you're holding a lot of love and growth in your hands right, right away. That's what I see in this card. You have a heart there and you have all those leaves coming out. That's just what I see, okay? So you are the mother of swords. Oh, so you're very thoughtful, very nurturing. I feel like you have strength, you have wisdom, you have power over your own emotions, and they might really look up to you. They may really value your opinions. Um, you may find them coming to you for advice and for clarity. And they see you as, you know, being a victorious, strong energy, fierce. Um, you kind of rule in their life. I, th I think of owls in the wild. Yeah, there's not too much that'll touch an owl, do you know? You see the way it's looking at you. It's like, go ahead and make my day. <laughs> no, 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 you would. Oh, yes, I, I feel a very strong, motherly, loving energy. But yes, you are not to be tangled with in their mind. They totally respect you. Um, and they also probably admire your, your majesty and your beauty and just how even you are, um, how fair you are to everyone. I think this, this is pretty good. They seem to want to take their time with you. They might not want to rush into things. Um, and they may need to change their perspective. I'm getting with a hangman. Sometimes it's about kind of get, putting some thought to it. You may, you may find that they kind of 
uh, have some outbursts towards you. I'm just getting that. And if they're not ready, they might not behave quite right sometimes. And you might be like, what's wrong with that one? And, you know, people say, oh, well, they like you, you know. I think that is it. They're just not really ready for what you've got going on. You know, they kind of feel like they might, might not really be up to stuff with you. So they might, they might be holding back a little bit and they may kind of want to just sort of, you know, they, they might want to contemplate this for a while. Okay. They might want to take their time and, and not really rush into anything. Kind of feel it out. You have grace. Number 22. 22 is a mastery number. That's, to me, it's divine partnership. It is building something. Um, grace is terrific energy. This is kind of triumphing, again, like the mother of swords, over your mind and your emotions. I feel like they admire how you can accept things and how nothing really kind of shakes you. Uh, the unexpected just does not take you, I mean, you're just poised. Um, you're always kind of going with the flow and feeling all of this love inside of you. Nothing's really pulling you back, you know, you're, you're in it. I love that lotus flower too. That's really beautiful. This is a beautiful energy. They see you as open and loving and compassionate. Um, they admire how forgiving you can be. They, they see you as treating others quite well. Yeah, they think you're fun. I can tell they think you're fun. When it comes to choosing who will be in your life, I recommend valuing their yeehaw quality above all others. Have it your way. Okay, that's good. Because they want to have fun. Maybe they feel like there was something super serious going on and they didn't know how to take it. Luxury is like a sixth finger on the hand, seeming to add value, but truly useless. commitment. I am committed to my growth and dreams. I set routines and habits to help me evolve to my fullest potential. Even though I may not see the physical manifestation of my desires, I know that they have vibrationally manifested and are on their way to me. I feel like this is in your hands with this one. Um, that you are making a commitment. It's on your, you're checking it off, but you kind of need to be able to accept with grace here, accept the unexpected and, and unconditionally love those around you, regardless of how long it takes them. That's what I'm getting from this reading, that they kind of, they might feel a little stubborn to you. I mean, remember that people aren't goals. They're not checking stuff off on a list here. You are developing a relationship with them. Um, with the commitment coming out and everything else, yeah. Don't, don't forget to be graceful. Unconditional love isn't about, um, it isn't about what you've got down on paper. That's probably not what some people want to hear, but that's true. Um, everything takes time. Okay, let's pull out the grid or let's pull out the chart. Get some further information. I've been pulling, I don't usually get letters, so I'm going to pull from here too. See what, do they, how do they see you? Yes, maybe they are like, yay. I feel like there's something uh, like too true for them. Maybe you, oh, there we go. Let's put those back over there. Maybe they, as much as they value your honesty, maybe they're a little taken back by it at the time. Let's see what the charms and, and chart can tell us. Okay. Oh. We've got A kind of sitting there on, um, on Gemini and between no and maybe we have sky I was thinking sky is the limit no maybe 
Maybe they're just like, they're having a little bit of block thinking that they're safe in this. And we've got this is, this is enjoy the little things in life on the question mark. Like it's asking you, have you been enjoying the little things or are you trying to get that big commitment? We've got maybe, and this is about protection. So maybe guard yourself a little. And I feel like you might want to ask your family. Communicate. Um, and you might want to communicate to your guides, ancestors, um, whoever you look up to. But keep communicating love. I don't know if you can see that, but I always think when I see that, especially when it's up, communicate from your heart. It's just a weird little shaped stone. And here we have heart, of course. Speak from your heart. We have memory, air. I, I think that you're on their mind. They have not forgotten you, that's for sure. And yes, they are healing. That is probably what that card means. Sometimes that means that there's like a little break. And somebody needs to do some healing. They need to change their perspective. They're probably having a tough time with something. And yes, yes, I, you know, and it's really hard in life to say, you know, I am healed. Well, it's a continuing process. I feel like they don't feel like they have it together for you, but they just... This isn't something you can feel for them. You can try to reassure them. Um, I would just communicate from your heart. But don't let your fears talk for you because you might push them away. And you, you don't need to concentrate so much on what you can have with them as what you already have with them. The little things. Maybe you just share... I know something small with them and remember that that is that is something nice just that small thing is nice you know okay this is what I see for your reading please give a thumbs up added value to your day comment down below let me know what resonated subscribe to catch me again if you want to support the channel there's a bunch of links below until next time have fun Okay, pile number four. Here's the card you chose. And this is a fish. I don't know if it looks like one to you, but it sure did me. And I think that means that you have an offer you're going to be diving into. It's going to come towards you and you're, you're going to feel like this is pretty fun. Um, let's see. Oh, well, they see you as, as taking a look at your options. Um, like they, they believe you have a choice. Okay. You, you might be choice in their minds, but you're sort of surveying things. I'm thinking narrow it down. I was thinking with this dive in and now I'm thinking with this narrow it down. Um, so that might be a message for someone. Let me know if it is. I also think that they're feeling that you're very colorful and that you have a lot on your horizon. You've got a lot on your plate. I think you're passionate. And I think they are finding you a perfect creative match. You know, you could be kind of one of their muses, but also they're, they are looking to spark your creativity also. That's, that's something they want to see where maybe you work together on something. Oh, and they see... This is a lot of passionate, fiery energy. They see you shaking up their life quite a bit. Um, you were unexpected. then, And they don't want this to be ordinary. Okay? They want this to last. Um, and I feel like you've changed their perception in some way. You have brought to them some sort of revelation, something that took away any misconceptions that they had, maybe about things that mattered a lot to them, people in their lives. You might have allowed them to view others with a little bit more innocence, love, acceptance. Um, I, I really feel like you 
you deepened this person's purpose somehow, which is a little strange. I'm just feeling, okay, yeah, they, they know there's competition for you too. They know that this isn't going to be easy. Okay. You have a lot of choices in life and I, th I think they want to talk to you quite a bit. They want to have a lot of communication with you. They kind of want you to get the message. <laughs> okay. Um, so let's see what else is going on here. Stillness. Your energy about this is sort of just being calm and letting them come to you. And that might actually work out for you. Um, from what I was getting from, they might, maybe they've messaged you quite a bit already. So this is a very meditative card. Um, I see a lot of love here. You know, with the hearts, but this is sort of like meditating and, and connecting to that universal love. Like you're sort of thinking about the big picture here. This can be a very spiritual connection for some of you, seeing this lightning bolt and seeing this this card. This could be something like where you connect. Even if you don't have the same spirituality, you just feel like deep deeply rooted in this individual so you but your your approach to this i feel like you're just kind of stilling your mind and enjoying the quiet letting go and allowing whatever might be which is exactly what you need to draw love to you i see all these hearts coming towards you and that could be an aquarian symbol but definitely going with the flow um concentrating on on your own self and your options earlier disappointments were just rehearsal for the great stuff coming your way never regret love no matter how blind it improved your vision no matter how foolish it made you wiser and no matter how generous it made you more so that might be you looking out and serving everything Maybe you're thinking about what happened in the past. Um, yeah, still your mind. That's a, that's a wonderful uh, message then. Still your mind. Uh, let go of what happened and know that it just made you more ready for what's going to happen. Nurture. It's okay to want to stay home and be alone. I deserve days to myself, days to relax and simply be, simply be still. I honor how to... I feel and take this day to do the things that feel nurturing to me. Okay, so you've got a couch and you've got meditation and being home. Okay, you're, you're really looking out and trying to figure out what you want from the world. When you discover the source of sunlight, whatever direction you go in will be east. Okay, so I feel this is a very much, um, this is something about you. You're being offered things and you have decisions to make. You've got a couple ways you can go with this. Okay. And I don't know. It's up to you if you want to shake things up or not. But when you discover the source of the sunlight, when you discover love, um, you're going to grow toward it. Like the trees grow toward the light. Like that's the only direction you're ever going to be headed in. So I think when this comes to you, It's just going, it's going to bring you the great stuff that this card promises. It's going to be all that much more. Okay, so yeah, take that, meditate on this. Meditate on this. I think this, you're making this offer happen. Okay, I'm going to pull out, okay, I'm going to pull out the chart. And we're going to get some letters and some charms. And we're going to see what else. What other messages do we have for you? This was a very interesting one. Very choose your own adventure kind of reading. There's a few. What would they say to you, I wonder? How do they see you? Oh. Well, I feel like they think you're true. Because we've got this gold that popped way out of it. And it's fool's gold. So I think they feel like you're for real. 
we've got yes and this the sacral this is something sacred did i say that it might be a spiritual union An Aries, two hearts. Is that an E? I'm not sure which this is pointing to here. Aries, um, Taurus, E. But we've got two hearts. And that could be like your twin flame, soulmate, uh, mirror soul, what have you. Perfect match, true love. We have no. And that to me is clouds. So I think you're going to have... This is not going to be something indecisive. Yes. Yes, I'm protected. I think you're protected. Maybe on communication. If there was some sort of communication you were wondering about, we've gotten a maybe on that. Over here. We've got fire. And we've got these puppy paws. I feel like you've got something loyal. I've got fire there too, right, with Aries. Maybe you have an Aries that's going to be kind of be your loyal friend about this when you're asking. And maybe, yes, maybe meditate like this card was showing. Still your mind. And figure out what you really want from this. That's what this is really about. It's not about their thoughts. This is about your thoughts and what you want. Oh, we've got the sun. Bring it out into the open. The angels are protecting you. Okay. Bring it out into the open. Don't be afraid to admit to yourself how you truly feel. Okay. Um, we've got an I, which I still think this is about, and not too many of them landed up, up in, this, in this reading so far. Most of them have landed down. This is about I. Okay. Concentrate on you. It's okay to. I are... L. Isn't that in real life? And B. In real life, B. B in real life. Well, that's kind of a message right there. You may see something else in it, though. Uh, if you do, feel free to comment down below and compare notes with everyone else. Um, this is what I see for your reading. If you want to do any work, it could be sacral chakra work. Yes. Okay. Um, all right, and this is your message. Be real, okay? Um, if you like this video, subscribe to catch me again. Give them a big thumbs up. There's links to support my channel below. And until next time, thank you. Have fun. I'm dying. Okay, number five. This is the card you chose. And to me, this is an individual that has rehearsed it, done it been there and you're a little tired you know you're kind of feeling like can someone else take the reins for a couple of minutes um you may see something else in that of course i see a few things i see like i see the wings of a butterfly i see the power to transform and transcend let's see what the messages are how do they see you oh my flowers went all over the place there we go. They're kind of back in the picture. Oh, so they see you as strength. You could have a Leo type energy. Um, they love how you communicate and they love how uh, you connect to others and how understanding you are. But I also feel like they don't believe this, you know, like it's it's so eternal for them. This is something that would last in their mind, but they're not really believing it. They're seeing like, because you've got this rose in your, in your mouth, but it came out reversed. And I'm getting that the reverse message is that this is in the dark. This is not out in the light and that like you don't want to offer them. Like, even if you're, um, even if people know about you and you're together, like you like you just are not, I don't know, you're not coming with the rose in your mouth. You're not coming with uh, the romantic things that they they figure you would do. Like you're holding back from them. You are kind of afraid to share yourself with them. 
the ace of pentacles i feel like they want to start something with you something earthy uh something that'll grow something that over the years you're going to have layers and layers of experience with i like these layers in this tree trunk you're going to have stories maybe even generations now they want something long standing with you but they feel like and maybe you find someone else a little more attractive or romantic or even if it's a sort of a friendship thing you're checking up on that that they don't feel like they excite you or interest you you know they just feel like you're kind of going oh well you know you're kind of on the back burner and i don't know if you put them on the back burner i'm not here to tell you what you should do we we all know sometimes there's reasons for these things okay oh feelings your energy in this number 17 you're experiencing some feelings i see those sixes and i'm thinking beauty and strength and healing i immediately see transformation oh you are out and enjoying yourself um you're getting attention so your energy here is you're kind of in your heart and maybe you aren't coming out and sharing how you really feel towards them the book is telling me something kind of special we are an emotional bowl of soup and have a plethora of flavor it can be easier to know you are feeling an emotion than to actually identify that emotion so maybe you are a little confused and a little conflicted on this so that first card and my intuition might have been right so it also says feelings come from deep within our particular essence and should not be ignored we have to feel it and then let it go. We want to let go of feelings that no longer serve us and make friends with feelings that do. We are emotional beings and emotional beings and we feel. Let's feel great. So that is the elixir right there is love. If you were wondering how to feel, it's okay to feel love. I'm not here to tell you what type of love to feel though, because this looks like they they want to start something. Uh something kind of uh i don't know maybe sometimes ace of pentacles is like a new job offer or um building something like something stable something secure something to do with uh with the earth so something like a home or yeah, this is sort of serious in their mind, I'm thinking. All right, let's see. What else do we have? Things are not as they appear. Oh, my gosh. The lower the price of your love, the higher its value. Oh, that's that's kind of interesting because pentacles are all about, like, money and value, but earthly value. And, yeah, you know what? That is so true. There is no price on affection and on love. I don't know if anyone's ever tried to tell you there is. Um, don't tell them I said they're wrong. You cannot put a price on that sort of thing. Uh, there's nothing more valuable than your love. This is, this is kind of interesting. What kind of other message do we have? Mirror. In order to change my life outside, I need to change inside. Once I am open to this change, my exterior reality will begin to mirror those new shifts. And this has got someone opening their heart, which sort of goes back to this first card where I feel like you were closed off, kind of holding your little rose to yourself. Oh, this is, this is really getting kind of interesting. And this could be like a moment to see a mirror soul too. This could be that opportunity. We should always try to recognize ourselves and others but I think if you open your heart, you're going to, yeah, things are not as they appear. It's actually a good thing in this reading. Um, let me know if I'm wrong. Maybe maybe for a couple of you, things are not as they appear means something different to you. Defeat your enemies with kindness. Okay. That is pretty much your strength energy to begin with. I think 11 might mean something to you too. 11 is a twin flame number to some. It's a pillar to others. Strength. 
Well, this could be something really important. Defeat your enemies with kindness. Well, you have that ability. They are right about you. You work through empathy. Your understanding and the way that you approach everyone is your greatest strength. That you can see everyone's um, position, at least want to hear them out. You listen and act um, accordingly. And that's, I, I think this is going to require you, um, whatever it is that you're deciding here. I think that this is, yeah, this is going to have to require, I love, I still love that. Does that just look like so romantic? Maybe they view you as just being such a romantic person that they, they don't know how to keep up with you. But anyways, if, if enemies come and try to defeat this love, okay, and they, they try to tell you, maybe they try to tell you, which I've had this before, you know, they're not taking care of you, they should do more for you. We've all heard this. I know we've all heard this, you know. What are they doing? You know, these people, they're not doing anything for you but making you feel insecure. So tell those enemies, I really appreciate your concern. And be kind to them. But stand your ground. Okay. I think that is what I'm getting out of that. Uh, if you get something different, yeah, please do let me know. I'm really interested to see how the cards speak to everyone, especially in the collective readings differently. I'm going to get the chart out and the charms. And we're going to see what other messages we have. Let's get some letters. I don't, I designed this and somehow I don't get a lot of letters out of it unless I use tiny, tiny charms. So I'm going to pull some letters. How do they see you? What other messages do we have? I.E. So few of these letters came up, up right side up this time. I feel like they're saying something that way. I.E. An example. Okay. Um, let's see what else comes out. Maybe you are sort of an example of something to them. Uh, maybe they sort of look up to how you behave. How you've come through things. What other message do we have for you? Number five. Oh, it stuck to me. The flirt at least could be something about France. Um, it could be about being decorated, though. They could just really think that you're beautiful. They could enjoy your smile. Um, I'm seeing um, P, Q, and... The Scorpio sign. Scorpio appeared in the first reading. So need, yes. I think they want to know what you need. They want to try to meet your needs somehow. And I've got, oh, I feel like this is solar plexus with maybe. I'm getting that it's on maybe and that you need to um, can we work on how yeah, keep that strength. Work on how strong you are. Work on those values, and and that is how I see the solar plexus. But I could have another message for you, of course. I have no for this amphibious creature. Okay, so this is a little odd for this one, but I am feeling you might not want to leave your comfort zone right away. Feel those feelings. Wasn't that it? Yes, feel those feelings until that love shows up as an elixir. Give yourself that time. Yes, we had healing and another one show up around yes and question. I think they're going to be patient. They're going to be patient. N-E. I'm not getting anything for N-E. But maybe you are. Maybe these are initials, places that uh, are important to you. I think this is for someone else. I don't know. I'm not getting anything negative. It could just be need once again. Okay. This is what I see for you. It really, I am thinking things are better than you think they are. You know? Maybe this person could provide more for you in the future than what you're giving them credit for. That is just a spark right now. Um, 
but take time. Feel those feelings. You have those feelings for a reason, too. Do pay attention to your feelings. Okay, if this added value to your day, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what resonated. Subscribe to catch me again. Hit the bell to see those notifications every once in a while. And if you like to support the channel, of course, I like to throw in there There's some ways to do that down below. Until next time, thank you and have fun.